What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and as always, thanks for watching. Let me tell you, there's gonna come a time, if it hasn't come already, where you've gone out and you've taken some amazing pictures. You get home, you edit them, you're so happy with them, you wanna share them on Instagram. And then you realize, well this picture is in landscape and if I wanna take up the most real estate possible, huh, I'm gonna need to crop this image for Instagram. I'm gonna lose a ton of the image. What if I told you, you didn't have to? and you could have the best of both worlds where you could share that entire image and all its glory and detail and still take up all the real estate possible on Instagram. Well, you can, and I'm gonna show you coming up. Hey, real quick, if this is the first time to my channel, if you find some value in this video, make sure you go down there and hit the like button and then, you know, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's dive into this. If you're a photographer and you haven't found yourself in this situation yet, you will, trust me. So you're gonna wanna watch this. If you've gone out and you've taken some nice pictures like this one, this is of Yosemite Valley. This is called the tunnel view. I, I love this view and this is an awesome picture. I'm super happy with this. It looks so much better in that full landscape view. But cropped, it still looks good, but man, it just looks so much better in that landscape view. And that's how I wanna share it on Instagram. But I wanna take up the most real estate possible, right? So I'm gonna show you right now in Lightroom and Photoshop how we can do that. All right, once in Lightroom and you're done with the edit, you wanna make sure you go ahead and click crop and we wanna crop the image to 16 by 10. And the reason we wanna do this is if you know your math, you know that a 16 by 10 crop is a five by eight image. So once we move this image into Photoshop and we divide it in half, we'll have two five by four images, which will allow us to have two side by side images that take up the full real estate on Instagram. So once we're done with that 16 by 10 crop, we can go ahead and right click the image and we can hit edit in Photoshop. And then, I don't know, get something to drink, something to eat, take a break, because this part takes a while. Adobe, please fix this. You should not have to wait this long to, you know, move an image from Lightroom to Photoshop. Okay, so once the image is in Photoshop, we can go ahead and hold down on the crop tool and hold down on it and select slice tool. And then what I find helps is zooming out slightly so we can see the whole image. And we wanna make sure that we start with the slice tool way outside the image. And we wanna drag it way below the image and over. Don't worry about finding the exact middle of the image at this point. Just make sure you're way above and way under. Once you've done that with the slice, uh, slice tool still selected, you can drag it and it should snap to the middle. And if you're having a hard time finding the middle, you can hit command apostrophe and get the grid and go to Photoshop, preferences, guides, grids, and slices, and make sure your subdivision is at four, hit okay. And then we can see here, if we move the slice a little bit, we can see this middle, middle grid will show us the middle of the image. So just make sure it's right there. And you sliced your image in half. Now we need to export. This is the most important part, file, export and save for web. Make sure you hit save for web. And once the export box pops up, right here where it says image size and height, we wanna make sure we enter 1350 because that is the max height Instagram allows you to do without it starting to compress your image. And we know we don't want Instagram messing with our images. So once you've done that, you wanna make sure you go up here and make sure JPEG is selected and your quality is at 100%. Feel free to zoom out so you can see the whole image with both slices and then select the other slice and make sure that it's also selected on JPEG and that your quality is at 100%. Once you've done that, you can hit save, choose where you wanna save those images. And once that's done, go ahead and find where you saved it and you'll see a folder and inside that folder, you'll have both images. So now we wanna get these images to our phone. So I'm on Apple, so I can just airdrop it to my phone, but whatever way you get it to your phone, make sure it doesn't compress the images. So don't email it, don't text it to yourself. Either airdrop them 
or use Dropbox, just any way that doesn't compress your images. So we're gonna airdrop these to my phone since you know I can do that. Once you have the images on your phone, let's go ahead and open up Instagram and post them. So we can hit post and we wanna choose the first image, which is El Capitan. And this is very important. You wanna make sure you hit the expand so you get that full five by four crop. And you wanna do this with the first image selected because you can't do it once you've selected the second image. So once you've expanded it and you're on the first image, hit this little you know square on top of square uh, button and that's gonna allow you to do multi-post and select the second image. Now hit next. And as we can see here, we can see both images with a line in between, but don't worry because it won't show up like that once you've posted. And hit next, type in a caption. This is a test for YouTube. You can go ahead and do your hashtags, hit OK, share. And once we've done that, we'll see the post that ever stops loading. And here we go. We can slide back and forth and see the full image. That's pretty awesome, right? You've gone out, you've taken some cool pictures, but they're in landscape. Now you don't have to choose whether you wanna crop it or post the landscape picture. You can have the best of both worlds on Instagram now. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget, please subscribe and hit that bell and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in, all that good stuff. And all that good stuff. I've had a lot of coffee. And as always, thanks for watching. I keep, is this, is this distracting you? I, I don't know. Don't drink a ton of carbonated water before you start recording because oh, it just gets stuck right in the chest. <clears throat>